It stopped moving. Snake, you did it! You stopped the launch! Yui, how's NORAD? Not good! Beamuse continues to track the targets on radar. The SP satellite status is green. Still assessing as reliable. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, a representative of the Secretary of Defense and Congress have arrived at NMCC. You've only damaged the drive system. The data uplink's still intact. We've got 1,500 Soviet ICBMs crossing the North Pole. Target region is confirmed as the west coast of the United States. Go to DEFCON 2. Prepare to launch ICBMs. How do I make it stop? Peace Walker is a fully autonomous system. Unlike the other machines you fought, its command authorities are all located inside its cerebrum, the Mammal Pod. We've got to stop the Mammal Pod. I don't have the abort code either. Coldman was the only one. Snake, destroy the AI inside the Mammal Pod. The inner barrier protecting the Mammal Pod is designed to be as strong as a bomb shelter. What's it gonna take to get through? I guess an atomic bomb will do it. You trying to be funny? No! I'm telling you, that armor was designed to withstand a nuclear war. We can't get through to the President. The decision is on us. You can't be serious. There's no way I'm gonna wipe out the human race. This is the President's call. There's no time for that. We need a decision now. Huey, get the Pentagon on the line. We have to tell them the nukes aren't real. I'll give it a shot. Forget the order of succession. If we're all going to hell, let's take those bastards with us. We have 12 minutes to impact, sir. May God have mercy on our souls. Jesus. Coldman guessed wrong. They're gonna go through with it! The platform sustained a lot of external damage. All we need is some pressure. Pressure? Sink it in the lake! Without much water pressure, even the tiniest crack should be enough to flood the innards. The AI pod is a mass of highly sensitive electronics. Short the contacts and the signal will stop. How much does that thing weigh? 500 tons. It's hopeless. We can't move that thing. Get the Pentagon on the phone. Incoming Merv warheads have separated. Estimated time to impact now, 11 minutes. Sir, we've got a call. The President? No, sir. Then who? He, um... Spit it out! He claims to be Big Boss. Big Boss? Patch him through! Mr. Chairman, I'll get straight to the point. Cancel the retaliatory strike now! What? The radar blips you're seeing are all fakes. No one's launched any nukes. How do you know? The launch data is fake. Part of an experiment that leaked. You weren't supposed to receive it. Your radar is showing missiles that don't exist. If you're lying, then we've got ten minutes till we're toast. We have to retaliate or more Americans die. The experiment was planned and executed by the CIA station chief in Central America. Then put him on! He's dead. I can give you his name, though. We need more than the authentication code you gave the switchboard. We need proof you're actually Big Boss. Do you have any? <sighs> All right. If you know the name Big Boss, then maybe you were there at the ceremony when I received the title from President Johnson. Indeed I was. We don't have time for this bullshit! Hold it! Let's hear him out. You were saying? At the ceremony, the DCI tried to shake my hand. I refused. What happened in that room is classified, top secret. Only a handful of people would know. He's making it up! Don't listen to it! Wait! Why did you refuse to shake his hand? Because I knew where my loyalty belonged. Hmm. Everybody, listen to me. Those Soviet missiles are fakes. What? You're actually going to believe him? He's right. This is some sort of commie trick. No, it's the real big boss. Trust me. How can you know for sure? Because I was the Army Chief of Staff back then, and I was standing right next to the DCI when it happened. I saw everything. <clears throat> you saved us all, Big Boss. We'll stand down the alert. <sighs> Thank you. When we meet again, I hope you'll shake my hand. What are you doing? Sorry, Chairman, but we are not standing down. Damn it. Those worthless sacks of... Wait. Jack. 
Jack! Oh, it's opening. She's calling to you. Destroy the mammal pod and the data will stop flowing. Please, stop her.
going on? That song. Boss, is that you? How in the... functional compensation. When the human brain is damaged, sometimes it recovers over time. Other parts of the brain take over the functions of the damaged parts. Mammal and reptile were patterned after different parts of the human brain. When those parts were assembled together into one, they must have become capable of functional compensation. It's clearly not thinking rationally. It's not using its head. It's using its heart. This is the fate she chose for herself. <sighs> the boss's innocence has been proven. Do you hear it, Snake? Do you hear the boss's song? You saw it, didn't you? When you went to space, that there's beauty outside of battle. At last, I understand. In the end, it was you who put down your gun and chose instead to sing. They can all hear you. I know they can. And your will shall surely live on. That's what you wanted. So much that you gave up everything you had. But you couldn't achieve it. we call peace.
just sing, sing a song. Snake, you still here? Come on. Let's go back. I'm not going back. Huh? I'm done. Snake, you don't mean... I'm done looking for the truth. What are you saying, Snake? I was wrong. Come on, boss. Everybody's waiting for you. She betrayed me, Kaz. She what? In the end, she put down her gun. And when she did, she rejected her entire life up to that point. Including me. What do you mean? In giving up her life, she abandoned everything she was as a soldier. And you consider that betrayal? I won't make the same choice as her. My future is going to be different. Then... That's right. From now on, 